Redshift 2026 is officially out today and it comes with a couple of new features that you might want to take a look at. First up, they've introduced the ability to render shader-based procedural clouds and these can be created in your scenes easily by adding the new RS cloud object. Redshift clouds are highly customizable with easy to control parameters for things like cloud coverage, thickness, scale, and more. Plus advanced features for position, optimization, and shading controls. There have also been improvements made to the sun and sky rig. It's now a selectable dome with sky and light parameters similar to those provided within dome lights. Plus it comes with the added ability to create new Redshift clouds with a simple click. Also, all DCCs will get updates to scene units, meaning all length-based parameters have been updated to work in real-world scale. Even lights have been updated to operate in the same way, so expect changes to the look of your scene, but increased control and predictability. There have also been quality and flexibility updates to bump maps, allowing them to be driven by procedural shaders, including OSL and the distorter node, which is now available in all DCCs too. And to add just a little bit more, bump maps will look even better and render slightly faster than in previous releases. Finally, just like in every new release, there are plenty of new models, textures, and materials added to the asset browser to help you get your project started inside of Cinema 4D. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about these updates to Redshift 2026.